Hi, I'm Nigel Deeks, a CML patient since 2011. I'm here today representing the CML Advocates Network. Hello, my name is Valentin Garcia, and I'm a hematology physician at the Hospital Universitario Ramón y Cajal in Madrid, Spain. As a newly diagnosed CML patient, what side effects am I likely to encounter initially? It's very important for the, a newly diagnosed patient to know that most of them are going to suffer side effects related to the treatment that they need uh, to take, and, and they will appear with whatever, with whatever TKI. Most common side effects are nauseas, vomiting, diarrhea, bone pain, also a little bit of fever, um, and chemo brain, and those are really very common. But it's important to know that most of the patients are going to get used to, um, in like in three or four weeks, more of the patients are going to uh, feel much better. It's also very important to know that some patients, around 20 or 30%, are symptomatic at the moment that they are diagnosed. So it's very important to really differentiate what are really side effects related to the treatment and what are the symptoms that the patient have related to the, to the CML, because those symptoms are going to improve a lot as soon as they start treatment. After having been on CML treatment for a while, can new side effects appear? Sure. Um, at this moment, as you know, we are very happy to say that when we have a, a newly diagnosed patient, we can tell them that they are going to have an overall survival very close to the similar population, which means that around 95% of the patient uh, won't have any problem related to the disease. Besides that, a um, patient may have some problem related to the TKI, to the, which is the treatment that all CML patients need to take. And of course, with, uh, as well as some other uh, treatment, patients may have some side effects related to the treatment that we, we need to use. Some of them are very specific for some uh, TKIs, and some of them may be common for all of them. And it's very important that we identify those side effects because for sure we have an impact on the quality of life of our patient. So it's something that we have to do together, patient and doctors. The good news is many CML patients don't exhibit any outward side effects. Can things be going on in their body that only a doctor can pick up? Absolutely, and that's crucial. It's very important to know that even though the patients are feeling right, there may be some side effects that the only way to see that is to, for example, taking a, taking a blood test. And it's very important to be aware of those side effects because usually they are easily managed uh, with reducing the dose of the treatment that the patient needs to take. For example, there may be some issues with the blood, with the liver, with the, uh, with the renal, impairment, um, it's important that we, we are aware of those side effects. Does the chance of experiencing side effects affect whether patients take their treatment or not? Yes, unfortunately it does, and it's also very frequent, it's what we call a bad adherence. Side effects are related to bad adherence because it's kind of normal to, uh, to think that a patient that are having problems with the medication in terms, for example, of nauseas, bom vomiting, bone pain, um, they are going to reduce the dose, or maybe in some time it's also uh, um, something that we see frequently that when they are going on vacation, they stop taking the drug for some days in order to really enjoy the, the, the vacation. And it's very important that we have that conversation with our patient because they may have a big impact on the pronostic of the patient. Can you tell me what the impact of a patient not taking their treatment regularly would actually be? Well, at this moment, we, we can affirm that it may have, a, unfortunately, a big impact. We have very nice studies that have shown how a bad adherence to the treatment are related to the probability of losing responses. So it's really very important that we have patient and doctor this conversation trying to explain how important it is not only that they take the medication every day, but they also take the full dose that had been prescribed for a specific patients. What can a patient do to help manage their side effects? Keep a diary of the side effects that the patients are suffering, including uh, how often, when, and of course, the severity. Of course, tell your doctor the side effects that the patients are suffering, even if you think that they are not related to the drug. Take the medication as prescribed. Of course, 
tell the doctor all other medication that the patient uh, may need, even though they are not related to the disease, but they, we may see some interaction between drugs. And also, it's very important to take into consideration that most of the symptoms and most of the uh, side effects are going to improve on time. And if not, we may have the opportunity to prescribe some other treatment in order to improve the quality of life of the patient. As a CML patient, is there anything I definitely shouldn't do? Yes, of course. Definitely, you shouldn't stop taking your medication or reduce the dose without talking to your doctor. You have to know that, uh, fortunately, we have some treatment option in order to improve the side effects related to the TKIs. If that doesn't work, we, fortunately, we always have some other TKI option that we can discuss with the patient in order to give our patient the best treat, specific treatment for them. And of course, it's really very important that do not uh, suffer in silence. Please do not think that because you have a leukemia, you must have side effects. We as doctors have to be aware of all the symptoms and all the side effects that may be related to the treatment in order to help you. As a CML patient, it's very important that you speak to your doctor about any side effects that you may experience and also about any concerns you may have. Side effects related to the CML treatment are frequent. Every patient is different. It's crucial that patients discuss with their doctors the symptoms and the side effects that they might suffer in order to have their doctor helping them. It's vital that patients take the medication as prescribed.